Welcome to Crash Course Spine. In today's lesson, we'll be making our character's hip bones along with the left and right leg bones. Also, we'll add bones to his belt pouches and belt buckle. Lastly, we'll rig his backpack along with that small drawstring bag attached on the side. This will be a very quick and simple lesson where our main focus would be to repeat the steps we've learned in the previous lesson. So let's get started. Assalamu alaikum everyone. This lesson is divided into six short sections. In this section, we will create our character's hip bones. Now we want our torso bone to be a parent to the new hip bone we will be making. So we select our torso bone. Next we want to make sure we are in create mode. We press down the control key and we select the hips asset. With control still pressed down, we select the right belt pouch, the belt, the belt buckle, the left belt pouch, the right leg and the left leg. All of these assets will be made children to the new hip bone that we are about to create. To start creating the new bone, we click and drag. Notice that right now our new bone is simply called bone. However, the moment we let go of our left mouse button, the name automatically changes to hips. This is because when we were creating this bone, the first asset that we selected was the hips asset and so our bone automatically renames itself to hips. Now we will create bones for our left and right legs. With the create tool active, we select our hip bone. Holding down control, we select our left leg asset. Now unlike our arms which were divided into three parts, our legs are a single asset each. Nonetheless, we create a bone for our left leg and we drag it so that it ends near the left knee. Though we do not have a separate asset for our left shin or our left foot, we will still create bones for these parts. Since these new bones that we've just made are not associated with any assets at the moment, they are simply called bone and bone 2. We can manually rename these to left shin and left foot. With the left leg bones ready, let's create bones for the right leg. We select the hip bone. With the create tool still active, we hold down control and select the right leg asset. We create a bone for it and drag it all the way to the right knee. We create another bone for the right shin. Again, since the right leg is a single asset, our right shin does not have any assets associated with it at the moment. This means we have to rename it manually, otherwise it will be called bone. Now we can create a new bone for our right foot. Again, we rename this bone manually since it has no asset associated with it. Do notice that unlike the bones for our arms which allowed them to bend at the elbows and wrists, the bones for our legs only allow partial movements. For example, the right leg moves when I move the right thigh bone. However, when I move the right shin or the right foot, the leg does not bend at the knee or the ankle as it should. But not to worry, we will fix this in the next lesson. Right now we need to give a basic bone structure to the rest of our character. To create the bones for our character's belt, we first want to select the hip bone. Next we go to create mode. We hold down control and we select this right belt pouch asset and create its bone. With that done, we select our hip bone again. Now we hold down control again and this time we select the left belt pouch asset. We create a bone for it. And with that, we have our character's belt ready to be animated. Let's give this backpack its bones. The backpack bone will be a child to the torso bone, so we make sure our torso bone is selected and that we are still in create mode. We hold down control and select both the backpack asset and the small drawstring bag asset. Now over here, there is another asset that we want to select, however, since it is hidden from our view at the moment, we can leave it for now and get back to it later. 
Now that we have all the assets for the backpack selected, we can create a new bone for it. Now when we rotate this new bone, our backpack rotates with it. With that done, let's give our drawstring bag a bone as well. We make sure we are still in create mode. Now we select our backpack bone. We hold down control and select the small drawstring bag on the side and create a new bone for it as well. And now we can rotate this little bag as well. The first step in creating the head bone would be to select the torso bone. We make sure we are in create mode. We hold down control and one by one select all the assets that will be children to this new head bone we are about to make. Now the bone that we are about to create will take its name from the first asset that we select. So first and foremost we need to select the head asset so that when we create a bone it automatically renames itself to head. With the head asset selected we hold down control and one by one select all the other assets that will go under our new bone. Now we can create the new bone. As we let go of the left mouse button, our new bone is automatically renamed to head. Now we can create the helmet bone. It will be a child to the head bone. So let's make sure our head bone is selected and that we are in create mode. Now one by one select all the assets that will fall under the helmet bone. Once we have all the assets selected, we can create the helmet bone. Now we want to create two bones, one for the right strap and the other for the left strap. We select our helmet bone, hold down control and select the assets for the right strap and make two bones for it. Again we select our helmet, we select the left strap asset and we create a bone for it. In the case of the left strap, I will only give it a single bone because unlike the right strap, it does not need to bend in the middle. Now we need to make sure that all our assets have a bone associated to them. To do that, go into the tree view. You can see all these slots here are direct children to the root bone. That's this bone over here. Let's just see if we want these slots to be direct children to the root bone and not to any other bone. Now for example, the right back strap and the left back strap actually need to be children, not to the root bone as is the case right now, but to the torso bone instead. I can just select these two slots and move them under the torso bone, hence making the torso bone their parent. Now when we rotate the torso bone, the left and the right back straps rotate with it. Right now you can see that our character's neck asset and his dog tags do not move with the torso. Again, this is because instead of being children to the torso bone, they are currently children of the root bone. So hold down control and select all these assets and we make them children to the torso bone. Now over here you have this asset called hair side. We can't see it very well right now, but I know that it needs to be a child of the head bone. So that when the head bone rotates or moves, this asset moves with it. So we just select this asset and we move it under the head bone. The belt buckle over here needs to be a child of the hip bone. To do that, we can either go to our tree view and move the belt buckle under the hip bone or alternatively, we can select our belt buckle, press P and then click our hip bone. This is just a slightly quicker way of making our assets children to a particular bone. Now we can see we have this pouch over here. Right now it's hidden from our view since it's behind our character but let's move it so we can see it better. I know this pouch is a part of the backpack so I can just make it a child of the backpack bone. Over here we have this random bone. 
I must have created this by accident so we can just delete that and there you go. Only your background slot is a direct child of the root bone and all the other slots are associated with their proper bones which means our basic rig is ready.